like this student now we are going to i'm continuing with the util file package oracle package the remaining procedures in to be discussed for in this uh, util file package is procedure sort f copy procedure f remove and f rename and f get attributes all the four procedures will be discussed in, in this session normally copy means you are copying a file os file from one location to another location just you are copying a file from the tf sql block itself and f remove is basically used for deleting a file deleting a os file from the tf sql procedure and f rename procedure is used for renaming a file in unix we have a similar option called mv renaming a file first we'll see the f copy the f copy syntax is here we'll be having nearly four parameters in f copy the first parameter is the source location it is in varchar2 and the next one is the source file name and the third parameter is the destination directory which is also in varchar2 and the fourth one is the destination file name so if you are copying one file to another another file if you are copying a file normally what all the things you need first one is the source path and the second one is the what which file you want to copy that is the source file name and the and third one is the destination path where you want to copy the de destination directory or the destination location other way you can say destination path and the fourth one is the destination file whether you want to copy it with the same name or with a different name if you want to copy it with a different name then you have to give a different file name in the destination file so all the four parameters you have to pass it in f copy let me execute that it's a simple tsql procedure here check whether emp data in the source directory exists or not source directory is used in er yes emp data under dot csv exists in the source directory i am using only user er so my source directory and my destination directory remains same so i am copying the emp data which is present in the source directory user er to my destination directory here my destination directory is also same as source directory and i want to copy it with a different name say employee.csv so i am copy copying os file emp data.csv to employee.csv let me execute it it's done completed checking yes em employee.csv you see the file size 2kb it's copied let me check yes we have the contents all the 106 rows are there in the new file also the next procedure is f remove if i want to remove the os file then we can use this function in the pl sql inside the pl sql util file dot f remove of normally if you want to remove a file what are the things you need the source directory or the source location and the source file name so these two things you will be passing it as a parameter to the f remove function one is the source location here it is user dir and the another one is the file name which file you want to delete here i want to delete the employee.csv which i created previously i want to delete that employee.csv file using f remove function let me execute util file dot f remove passing the parameters the location user dir and the file i want to delete is employee.csv checking employee.csv already exist which i copied now execute yes it was removed employee.csv file dot got removed the next procedure is f rename i want to rename the existing file 
if i want to rename normally what are the parameters you need you need one is the source directory and the source file name and the destination directory and the destination file name same like you need in copy command and the last one is whether if the destination file already exists then do you want to overwrite it or not so the overwrite parameter the fifth parameter is needed for f rename function and the default value is false false means it won't overwrite if the file already exists if the file with the same file name destination file name already exists then it won't overwrite so if you pass true as the fifth parameter value then even if the file exists it will be overwritten so let me execute the sample program renaming the file i am renaming emp data.csv file to employee.csv and true means if this employee.csv file already exists then it will be overwritten emp data.csv file already exists so the source file already exists so i am renaming this emp data.csv file to employee.csv file let me execute completed changed name got changed to employee.csv previously it was emp data.csv now it got changed to employee.csv okay let us discuss about the next function that is f get attributes it will re read and return all the attributes of the disk file normally what are the attributes like whether the file exists or not the param the syntax is util file dot f get attribute of the location in which location the file resides and the second one is the file name and the third fourth and fifth will return the values the third is the boolean value that is exist whether the file exist in this location whether this file name exist in this location or not the third parameter is exist whether it exist or not and the fourth one is file length what is the length of this file and the last one fifth one is in block size it will return the value of this file in blocks block size let me execute so these are the essential five parameters using f get attribute function we can fetch the five parameters of the given file given input file this is a function util file dot f get attribute of the directory in this directory i am going to fetch the properties of this file emp data one dot csv file check whether it exist or not no employee dot csv file exist so change it as employee dot csv file ex means whether it exist or not exist means true else it will return false f length means file length the length of the file in bytes and b size means it it will return the return the block size of the file if ex if ex means if the file exist then it will print the statement file exist else it will return it will print the statement file does not exist and closing the if statement by end it and then we are printing directly the output of f length and block size directly we are printing the output of f length and block size so this f get attributes if you simply specify all the values will be stored here ex will be stored in boolean value and f length will be the file length will be stored in f length and the block size will directly will be stored in b size variable and these variables are declared in the declaration path let me execute guess 
not in the project any problem clear it clear it and rerun it again yes completed wait again sometimes i'm having this problem printing file exists it's printing that file exists and file length is 1996 bytes and block size it's returning zero it's something rs is crispy and these are the attributes of the os file you can also fetch the attributes of the os file using the fget attribute function the last function is is open you can also check whether the file handler is open or the file is closed using this is open function we can check whether the file handler is open or closed it will return the boolean value if it returns true the file is open if it returns false then it is file is not open it will be used in the if condition We have covered pretty much all the things and uh, in all our previous program I didn't uh, raise any exception but definitely if you are writing any program definitely you have to write exceptions and uh, you should not give when others kind of exception you should not write others exception you have to write the exception correctly if you don't know the exception only in that case you can write it as others otherwise it is not a wise idea we will be discussing about all these exceptions in our next class. Thank you.